hello 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 my friends and welcome to my youtube channel i am back with yet another hosa paste recipe i am Mule, the hungry wanderer please don't mind my voice i'm not exactly sure what is going on but my throat is so 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 sore it is thursday today and i've just been nursing this throat and i can't do it anymore because I have a video to post. So today I am going to be showing you guys how to make harissa spinach and ricotta pies. You know how it goes, very easy to make, we're not doing too much. So let me just show you guys the ingredients. So we have chopped spinach, we have puff pastry, half an onion, flour, one egg, feta cheese, oil, ricotta cheese salt and pepper and you know how it goes harissa paste in the hot version so you're gonna preheat your oven to 200 degrees and then you can start by heating up the oil and we are going to in the onion I always add a little bit of salt to my onion just to get the juices flowing. When your onions are nice and sauteed, you are going to add just one teaspoon of paprika. I'm going to add the spinach. So we're just going to wait for all the water to evaporate from the pot and then we are going to go to the next step. while we're waiting on our spinach we're going to be prepping our pastry oh very sticky puff pastry and then a little bit more. So this is our pastry prep. We just added a little bit of flour so that it's not as sticky as it is when it comes out of the package. When your spinach is ready, you are going to crumb in feta. This is the, um, it has black pepper. You can get normal feta, any kind of feta that you want. So just crumb it in there. And then you are going to add some ricotta cheese and you mix. And then from the one egg, you're going to add a little bit just to bind everything together and leave a little bit for dusting. Oh, dusting for the pastry so that it's nice and golden. It's going to assemble on one side because we're gonna fold it over. Is it folding it over? And then just leave a little bit of space here for the decoration, I guess. I don't know what it's called. That thing that you do with the fork. Yeah. Leave space for that. From there, we close the pie. I'm 
just gonna cut this. We're using a watered Don't mind the shape, what matters is the flavor. And then the last step will be... So my gosh, it's a reflection of everything I'm going through right now. And then 20 to 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Later. Okay, I'm happy. I am happy. Let's just switch off this. So this is 25 minutes later. As you can see, these ones are super thick because I did not roll them to perfection. So we're just gonna have a little photo shoot and then taste so what you've done so it's now time to taste my pie okay oh it's so good i love how ricotta is like a derivative, if that's the right word, of amasi, because you can literally make ricotta from home with that amasi. So I thought it was meant to have like a mass flavor, but it's so good. Mm. Oh, I am happy. Oh, I am so happy. I am happy because. You know when you're like feeling a certain type of way, your food never really turns out the way that it should because you know, you cook with emotion. But this is 10 out of 10. Mm. I love it. Love, love, love. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to finish my party. And I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do do. I'll see you guys on the next video.